Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to your uh, MEAP20S videos. Uh, okay, so this video is going to be the third of uh, graphing lines, okay? So in this one, we're gonna talk about uh, graphing lines given general form, okay? So we're gonna have a look at what general form is, and then we're going to look at a couple of strategies that we can use to solve, uh, to, sorry, not to solve, but to graph lines given general form. <clears throat> okay. All right, so here it is. Now, we have this AX plus BY plus C equals zero. That's general form. So you see everything uh, is on one side of the equation and this A value, B value, and the C value, those are integers. So we don't have any fractions or anything like that here. We've got integers. So we've got whole numbers. Uh, they could either be positive or negative. As you can see here in our first example, we've got 6x minus 5y plus 8 equals 0. Now, what does this all mean? How can I graph this? That's the problem with, well, not really a problem, but that's the disadvantage of uh, looking at equations in general form. They're great for other applications, but specifically for graphing, we have to do a little bit of work in order to get it uh, in a nice form that we can easily graph it. So, uh, so far we've looked at graphing equations in point slope form and in slope intercept form. Okay, so um, in this case, why don't we do something pretty easy and just make a table of values so uh, we can get some points, we can get two points on the graph and connect them and then we have our, our uh, equation plotted. <clears throat> okay, so let's remember how we do a table of values. So you got your x value there, your y value there, and you can choose any random point. Uh, and see how they work out. So I'm going to choose an x value of negative 3. And if we plug in a uh, negative 3 for x and solve for my y, we actually end up with negative 2. And I'll just pick another random point. If I choose another point like x equals 2, then I'm going to get the y value of, let's see, uh, 4. Okay, so now I've got two points and that's really all I need. Uh, so let's plot those two points. So I've got negative 3 and negative 2, so that brings me right there. And then I've got my 2 and my four, so that takes me to right about there. Okay, uh, now we've got our two points, and all we do is connect the two. Okay, so that is our equation graphed. Let's have a look at uh, another one. Okay, so this equation here uh, says 2x plus 3y minus 6. Uh, another way of graphing these kind of questions is by finding the x and y intercepts. So how do we find the y intercept? Well, to find the y intercept, we set x equal to 0. So let's do that. And we solve for y, we end up with 3y minus 6 equals 0, y equals 2. So that's our first point. Our y-intercept is 2. That's right there. And let's find our x-intercept. Our x-intercept is when y equals 0. And that is, uh, let's see, 2x minus 6 equals 0 and then we get x equals 3. Okay, so we plot our point at x equals 3 right there. Okay, so we've got two points. <clears throat> this one here is uh, 0 comma 2 and this one here is 3 comma 0. Oh. 
That's your x and y intercept, okay? All right, so now let's connect the two dots together. Oh, hopefully you guys do a better job of uh, connecting them than I am on this device. Okay, so there's your equation of that line. And if you want to double check, I mean, just for fun, let's do it in another way. Uh, what we could do is we could take this here and we could solve it uh, so that it looks like y equals... <clears throat> mx plus b in the slope-intercept form. Uh, all we do is isolate our y variable and uh, then it should end up being that way. So let's start off as 3y equals negative 2x plus 6. So move everything over except for the term that has the y. And then divide everything by 3. And we end up with y equals negative 2 over 3x uh, plus 2. So let's just kind of double check that with what we have because this negative 2 over 3 part means that our slope is 2 over 3. So that means from this point to another point on the line, what's my path? Down 2 over 3. Hey, that checks out right on. And then this here, this is my y-intercept. So look at my y-intercept. Hey, it's at 2. Woohoo! Okay, very exciting. Uh, now the next question is for you to try. Okay, so I've quickly shown you three different ways uh, using a table of values, using... Um, x and y intercepts and also converting it to slope intercept form. So I want you to choose one of those methods. It really doesn't matter what you use. Press pause on the video and then give this question a try and see if it's the same as what I have. All right, so we're back. Uh, and here we've got, I've chosen to do it by y equals mx plus b. Uh, so slope intercept form, and I have a slope of three over two. And my y intercept is one. And there I've labeled three points for you. So we've got our first point of negative two, two, our zero, one, and our two, four. So you've got three points right here, here, and here. And uh, hope it went well. Good luck with the uh, homework.